Hi guys, Abasot here. A lot of things have happened in Vainglory lately. With Rogue Games apparently abandoning Vainglory, leaving the founders uh, creating an emergency mode in Vainglory. So this emergency mode is basically uh, Vainglory being pulled out in certain stores. While on certain stores they are still available but uh, updates are no longer uh, being received it's completely uh, frozen I have been receiving uh, questions lately regarding on uh, how to do download Vainglory or where do I download the PC version of Vainglory and I made this video for those people who keep on asking me this question Currently, uh, this is October 4th when I recorded and created this video. It is still available in Apple iOS Store and so as well as in the Google Play Store. You can still download the game from there even if you are a new user. While everything else like Windows, Mac OS, Linux will rely on Steam to play this game. The problem is Vainglory is only available on Steam for existing players. However, uh, the good news is for those who were not lucky enough to play this game on Steam before, you can ask a friend for, for a copy of Vainglory on an existing installation and you can play it from there. So basically, the user Everlasting Knight created a very comprehensive guide on how players can still play this game. But to save you guys time, um, you can download uh, the PC version from these links below. Uh, the Mediafire is my backup version, while the Google Drive version is the link that you can uh, get from Everlasting Knight's guide. I made this backup because the Google Drive version takes a while to zip everything for you to download. But uh, regardless where you download, you will get a two-part version of the file where it is uh, 001 and 002 zip. So you just select uh, the 001 zip and you can either extract it all using the Windows uh, built-in WinZip or if you have 7-zip, you could just go to the Extract to and click Extract here. Before you go in any further, I would suggest that you read the instruction text file that is located in the root directory of the extracted folder. It doesn't really post anything important, but it just tells you that once you downloaded it, um, you extracted the backup copy, uh, just click on Vainglory XC and then you're good to go. But if you have potential problems, you may want to read the instruction text file. Since you're downloading this outside of Steam, there will be things that you have to do just to guarantee that everything works. Basically, you just have to download the Microsoft Redistributable Visual C package and install the 2010, 2013, 2015, 2017, and 2019 versions of it. Although you could try to run the Vainglory XA first before doing this because maybe uh, you have it installed already because of another game. But in any case, if you have problems with running it, you could install each one of them and see if it works. You will know anyways if it's already installed because it will have a modify repair buttons in the dialog installation. So to finalize this video, um, I'm showing here a clip where I am opening the Vainglory XA from an installed Steam copy but without Steam running. And as you can see, it works. It's running without Steam. So basically, you can also run it too without being registered on Steam. And again, because this is Community Edition, you don't have an account. Everything is temporary profile in here, but there are certain versions where you can have a name but do not have any other features you may want to read uh, everlasting knights guide for more details with that uh, which basically says that you're limited to skins and heroes and 5v5 and 
that's pretty much it if you have come this far thank you very much for watching this so thanks again for the people who keep on asking me this question and motivated me to create this video and also special thanks to the tools that i have used kdn live in game for making this low effort video possible to be done for free and if you have to ask how long it took me this it only took me half an hour at most so yeah thank you very much